Hey everyone and welcome to Academy of Mind. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Today we're going to learn how to report and track the progress of learners enrolled in your LMS. Reporting and tracking learners is important because it allows your organization to measure the effectiveness of a training program and essentially analyze the ROI of your training and development courses. For example, let's say your company is training 20 different restaurants in New York City on food and safety as well as diversity training. You can easily monitor the effectiveness of these training programs thanks to Academy of Minds built-in reporting and analytics tools. Whether you're looking to see who's successfully completed a course and been certified, or wanted to read a student's written response in an assignment, or see how students scored on a test, all of that and much more is possible with Academy of Mind. Needless to say, how your organization defines success in a training program obviously is dependent on your goals and what you want to do with the LMS. However, today we're going to learn all about the built-in reporting and analytics tools you can use to measure success in your LMS, regardless of your industry and e-learning curriculum being taught. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by managing some courses. So the way we can do that in your admin dashboard, go to courses, all courses, and then hover your mouse over the course you're looking to manage, the dot, dot, dot right here, and click manage course. So immediately what you see in this window is every single user enrolled in this course, and that includes all the different roles. So all the way from instructors and admins to students actually taking the course. Here you can see when a user enrolled in a course, which role a user has, when users last access to course, and of course you can monitor the user's progress from a bird's eye view over here with this percentage bar. And then we also have filters that admins or instructors can utilize. Uh, this is especially useful if you have a large classroom. So if you know the name of the student, you want to check out their progress, you can filter by name or email here. And of course, if you wanted to see the progress of, for instance, users that completed a course or that uh, haven't even started a course, you could filter by status in a course over here. So if you really want to see exactly what a student has been doing in a class, you can check their progress here and really see their activity on a more granular level. For instance, here you can see all of the modules a student has completed in a course, how much time they actually spent on each module in a course, and as an admin or instructor, if you have permission, you can actually require users to spend a minimum amount of time in each module. You can also see here when users last access the course and what their score was on any of these assignments if they were graded on a point system. So looking further at grades, you can see that this particular student got a three out of three on the final quiz, so 100%, but it looks like these discussion board submissions were completed but have not yet been graded by the instructor. So if we come back to the dashboard since I'm an admin that's reporting on students, right now I can actually just go into the submissions for this course, see the students who've submitted an assignment, and I can actually evaluate these and return the grades back to the students. Now if we go back to the same window to monitor that student's progress, we can obviously see the change reflected and their submission that was just graded by myself is shown here. And real quickly before we move on, in this window you could also click view activity on a student to really see the succession of how a student was progressing through your course. For instance, seeing exactly the timestamp of when they started an assignment versus completed an assignment and that sort of thing, and really sort of see how students are progressing through your course. And another way you could report on a student's progress and really do the same thing as that we were just doing, but just a little bit differently, is by going to users, all users, then identifying the user you're looking to view their progress, click manage courses, but now you see all of the courses they're enrolled in. So this could be particularly useful if you're only concerned with one student's progress in the LMS versus a group of students in a course. 
So far, we've pretty much talked about reporting on users as an internal solution. For example, this is my LMS and the only users enrolled in it are my employees, my instructors, and any other administrators that I have managing training courses. But it's a little bit different if you're training B2B and training different organizations. So let's talk about that next. So when you're onboarding organizations and using the LMS for B2B training and customer and partner training, then you will have pretty much have different groups set up for each customer. And each group is basically an isolated portal where your customers will train in and do their own reporting. Your client groups would come up here and you can also filter out any of these course or student reports by group to view the progress of the different organizations you're training. It's also important to understand the group admins never have access to do anything outside of their portal. And this ensures that if you're training a large number of companies, say 100 different enterprises, each company has their own portal and does their own reporting and training in peace and quiet and isolation from other customers. So let's log in as a group admin and essentially interact as a customer and see how they would report on their users and learners. As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same for your customers doing reporting as it is for an internal training solution. The main difference is this group admin, for example, can't leave his portal and go report on users outside of his organization, and for obvious reasons. All right, lastly, let's talk about the report section, which can be utilized by your customers for reporting or your own team if this is an internal training solution. So in the overview reports, it's a very basic graph, and this shows you the students in a course, as well as it highlights the status of each student, right? So have students not started a course, how many of them are in progress, how many have completed. You also see all of the courses available, and you can also filter this data by group if you wanted to only look at a customer. Going down the line, looking at Course Insight Next. Now this section is similar to managing courses, what we were doing at the earlier point of this video, but you get a little more details on the students in a course here. For instance, you can see whether they've been certified or not. And of course, you can export this report down below if you'd like. And just like the last report in the overview, you can also filter by group here if you wanted to only look at a customer you're training. Now the student reports is particularly helpful if you are looking at one student and you want to view their progress in multiple courses. Because as you can see right here, I'm managing this one student's progress and I can see how they're doing in multiple courses. Last but not least, if you ran surveys in any of your courses, you could collect those results here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope these reporting tools can empower your instructors and admins to really measure the effectiveness of your training programs accurately. See you next week.